Hoping that you had a blessed Sunday of 17th March 2024. Very good evening to you and a warm welcome to our news bulletin tonight. My name is Nelia Swanjiro and Hope TV News Watch begins now. We start with the uh, trip of William Ruto, the president of Kenya, has attended an interdenominational church service that brought together various leaders uh, from my community at Enosayan in Kilgore's constituency in Narok County. Uh, speaking after the service, President Ruto has said has promised that the government is improving tourism in the agricultural sector in an effort to make sure that the national economy is improved during the visit that are in the area uh, the president also officiated or kicked off officially the construction of the utali college ilodisho campus in kilgore's constituency as our reporter nicholas kivite reports it is early for the Ma community after President William Ruto earlier today officially started the construction of the Kenya Utali College in Idolisho campus in Kiligori's constituency in an effort to improve the tourism sector in the Ma community. Speaking at the interdenominational church service that brought together various leaders and people of the Ma community at Enosahen in Kiligori's constituency, the president said that his government has planned ambitious strategies to improve the tourism sector in Kenya. Nimewaeleza hawa viongozi wetu katika sekta hiyo ya kwamba ile mpango tuko nayo na nimetembea sehemu nyingi duniani ili kuweza kuuza taifa letu kama ni mahali ambapo panafaa tumeondoa pia vizuizi ya mambo ya visa na mambo mengine ili tuweze kurahisisha wageni waweze kututembelea hapa taifa letu la Kenya. Ruto has also promised to improve the agricultural sector while adding that his government has good plans to support sugarcane farmers in the Ma community to boost their crop production and enable the nation to produce more sugar so that they can stop importing sugar from foreign countries. Tunatumia pesa nyingi ya Kenya kuagiza sukari kutoka nchi zingine. So if we can grow more sugarcane, we can stop using our foreign exchange to import sugar to our country. At the same time, President William Ruto has maintained that the plan to build affordable houses will continue while saying that tomorrow he will sign into law the affordable housing bill that was passed by the Senate last week. Yo sababu, kesho mimi naenda kuweka sehi, sheria ya housing. Kwa sababu hiyo housing tayari kuna vijana 1130 wanafanya kazi kwa program ya housing. Mpango yangu ni kwamba kufikia next year tutakuwa na vijana 1300 wanaofanya kazi katika program ya housing. Hapa Kilgoris program ya housing imeanza. Various leaders of Narok County who attended the event led by their governor Patrick Olendutu have meanwhile presented various challenges affecting the Ma community to the president, one of them being lack of electricity in various areas, lack of security, as well as poor road connectivity among others, while asking him to help them solve the challenges to improve the economy of the county. At least tupate barabara moja ya lami. Moja tu, Your Excellency. Tunajua uko na inji kubwa ambayo una, unafanyia kasi. Lakini tunakuomba at least one eh, tarmac road between 40 to 70 kilometers. Unajua hapa ka, kwa kaundi yetu, ardhi ni kubwa. So tunaitaji bar Reporting for Ob News Watch, my name is Nicholas Kivite. Thank you so much, Nicholas Kivite, for that report. And now we move on with our news where Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa has read the riot act to Rift Valley leaders, asking them to stop the incessant wrangling and focus on service to the people. Speaking during a church service at Capsabet AIC Church, where he witnessed the, uh, the installation of Bishop Moses Serem and Assistant Bishop James Mosonik, the DP said it was no longer acceptable for leaders from the region of Rift Valley to engage in disrespectful exchanges of words in front of the president. Muti yeyote atakosea rais wangu heshima tutakosana. Our governor, our senator, our MP, anybody from this region and our backyard, pahali si tulipigua kura mia kwa mia, 
we want total respect for president William Ruto na mikutano yake hawezi kuwa vile niliona jana sasa niliangalia tv jana ile maneno yote mzuri rais alifanya hakuna simuliona tv jana ile naoneshwa ni vita na kelele ile mazuri yote ilikuwa imetuleta imepotea let us be very very careful very careful msioneshe wa Kenya wengine kama hamuna haja na kiti ambayo mlipewa hii ni kiti ya maana sana na iko nyumbani and the only way to show the people of Kenya you appreciate their support ni kuwa na heshima katika sherehe ambaye inaongozwa na rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya mimi regadi gashagua ni mtu niko na msimamo kali sana mimi ni kama hii watu ya banande unajua nyinyi na mimi ni, ni watu ya jemu damu kuchemuka haraka saa zingine nyinyi zidio mlifukuza musungu 1905 yule wakati ya koitalel samoe alafu nyinyi ndio mlitufundisha kusema hatutaki ujinga mimi ni mtu iko msimamo mimi na watu wetu huko kwa mlima tuliamua kwa kauli moja kumuunga rais wetu mkono kwa sababu tuliona ako na mpango ako na maono na ako na mpango ya kusaidia Kenya na tukaunga yeye mkono kukiwa na shida mingi sana na siku mmenipatia kazi mkimpigia kura mkanipigia kazi yangu ni rais sana na ninaielewa kazi yangu mimi naielewa kazi yangu ni kumsaidia rais kumkinga na kumlinda hiyo tu hiyo ndio kazi yangu kazi yangu ni kwenda mbele yake nikiona kuna watu wamechimba shimo anguke mimi naweka mchanga anapita akisha pita mimi nakaa nyuma yake nikiona mtu na kisu naweka yeye mereka naweka yeye chini ndio rais aweze kuendelea na ile kazi mimi niko na hao nayo na hao mawaziri ni kumsaidia rais wetu afaulu kumsaidia achaguliwe was one thing and it was very important but is even more important to make sure that president william ruto succeeds and now we move to sad news where the journalism fraternity in the country has been plunged into mourning following the death of celebrated ntv journalist rita tinina confirming the death kilimani ocpd moses and thiwa says her body was found at akileleshwa home in nairobi on sunday march 17th her colleagues at ntv said she was scheduled to be on duty on sunday but failed to show up and she could not be reached on phone tinina's family was reportedly present at the house when the police probing the arrived to pick her body the police transferred the body to a mortuary at at as investigations into the matter care cause of the death comments tinina has been in the local media landscape notably as a news journalist for over two decades We also send our condolences to the family, friends, and the nation at large. And moving on, in order to take the gospel of Jesus Christ in more counties like Wajir and Samburu counties through the airwaves, Hope Media is calling on more people to partner with them by supporting the Rafikim So campaign, which is aimed at raising funds in order to put up transmission sites in areas where unreachable communities are eager to hear about Jesus Christ. Speaking after a church service at Sitamburu Buru, where Hope Media joined the worshippers to popularize the Rafikim So campaign head of media at Hope Media Dismas Makanda noted that the Rafikim So campaign uh, has uh, which began in September last year has so far raised about 7 million Kenyan shillings adding that the station still needs more resources as Alice Diana reports Listeners of Hope FM and viewers of Hope TV from Sitam Buruburu have praised the two stations for airing programs that have transformed their lives in a positive way. Uh, hope through the night. What a powerful way to just, you know, wake up to powerful worship and ministry of the word and just listen in and be blessed in many ways, listening to the leadership forum, uh, which is quite impactful in our leadership journey in the corporate field and in our leadership in church. 
Uh, the other thing that has been, um, uh, when you listen to the life's profile, listening to me, uh, the miracles and the testimonies of people and how they've journeyed through the walk of faith and how it has impacted their own personal lives, it just gives testament to the practicality of the gospel. Yeah, so I've been a listener of hope for a very, very long time and I've been blessed. Hope Media, uh, Hope FM or uh, Breathe of Heaven, I was a Muslim. Uh, by then, I hadn't even no identity. I didn't have even a national ID. On our way, uh, making it clear, I have never been in any school, not even nursery school. So it made it by the year 2016 when I joined Hope Media, when I started listening to Hope FM. I couldn't be able to write even my own name. And uh, through Sharon Naitore in uh, Hope uh, in Hope FM, Breathe of Heaven, I have been breathing that breath. And uh, most importantly, I have been connected with uh, uh, sermons by John Carson. Sitam Buruburu Senior Pastor Stanley Mungadia noted that Hope TV and Hope FM have become a platform of addressing various issues in the society and a channel of healing in the lives of young people. Actual of healing. In the lives of our young people, even though maybe I'm going through a time of, uh, let's say, drugs or rebellion or addictions, uh, Open Media has become a platform to address those issues. Issues of marriages that are broken, you know, separation in marriages and the problem in marriages. We have a platform that can be able to address this. I mean, your programs are wonderful. Sometimes we have lawyers speaking of, of an open firm, some of the doctors addressing issues of. Uh, you know, uh, medics in the OPFM. So it's a wonderful, wonderful platform. And the person have benefited a lot. Uh, I would pray that many people really get to support uh, Hope Media uh, through especially this program of uh, uh, Minim So. Sitam Deputy Bishop Justice Mugambi, on his part, noted that media is critical in spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ and appealed for more support in the Rafiq Imso campaign to enable Hope Media reach more people and remain on the airwaves. Hope Media really in spread of the gospel is critical because there are people who, many people who will not be able to reach church. Uh, people who are in prison, people who are out of this country, people who cannot be able to go to church because of one reason or another. So they can only be reached through radio. And the beauty is, even with a small radio, I mean, with a small phone these days, you are able to tune in. So really, it is gospel without boundaries. And you know, you minister to all kinds of people. And the, 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 the interesting thing is, money is limited. So that's why Hope has been raising money, so that then we are, they are able to be in the airwaves and to reach many for Jesus Christ, not only for salvation, but for encouragement and life transformation. Amen. And to continue spreading the gospel through the airwaves and reaching the unreached communities in counties such as Wajia and Samburu, head of media at Hope Media, Dismas Makanda, has called on more people to continue giving resources towards the Rafik Imso campaign. We began this initiative of Rafik Imso last year in September. The Lord has used many people and many of you are watching and listening now. We have given out resources about 7 million and we need more resources. This week I was in Wajir and Samburu and really uh, the region needs Christ. And you can partner with us to, for us to be able to reach uh, uh, this unreached community, uh, the Samburu, uh, the Waji, the Somalis in this region. They would love to hear about Christ. You are not able to get there, but through the airwaves, uh, partnering with the government of Kenya through CA, we are able to put up a transmission site, like for example in Waji, for us to put up a transmission site, we need about 6 million Kenya shillings to be able to run uh, that transmission in that region. And you can be part of this initiative. We truly want to thank you for the sacrifices, for the 100 shillings, for 100,000 that you've given. You simply go to Mpesa 933-933 and our account is FOH and the Lord will truly bless you. Alice Diana, Hope TV News Watch. So much Alice Diana for that report and now we take a short commercial break. We shall be back right after the break. To get Wewe Ni Mungu by Evelyn Wanjiro as your skizer tune, SMS the word skizer 88. 
0023-3028 and sent to 811. Hope Skiza, spreading the hope. In order to keep hope alive in the airwaves, Hope Media has a couple of initiatives. Friends of Hope. Friends of Hope is you and I forming a team of well wishers and volunteers who give in cash and kind to support in spreading the gospel at Hope Media. Currently, Hope Media is running a campaign under Friends of Hope dubbed 100 for 1. Through the campaign, Hope Media is asking Hope FM and Hope TV listeners and viewers to give just 100 shillings in order to reach one more soul with the message of hope and the gospel. Engage with us on our social media platforms at Hope FM Live and at Hope TV Kenya. Kuwa Rafikim So Leo. Thank you for choosing Hope TV, the channel that brings you hope, entertainment, and inspiration. We value you and would like to serve you better. Talk to us by scanning this QR code on your screen or go to our social media page at Hope TV Kenya and click on the survey link by the name Hope TV Survey. It will just take a few minutes but means the world to us. We value your feedback. Hope TV, look and live. Hope TV is where you look and live with an excellent selection of the best Christian programming consisting of local and international content of inspirational stories, talk shows, Bible commentary, youth, health shows, children entertainment, contemporary gospel music, extended times of worship, live broadcast, news, movies, drama, Christian ministry programs and so much more. Hope TV is another quality service from Christ is the Answer Ministries with over 45% of authentic and credible local content every week. Hope TV is a sister station to Hope FM, Kenya's leading Christian radio station with footprints across the country. Tune in to Hope TV, where you look and live. I've actually been trying to find a balance. Um, it's been really tough and hectic but everyone says once you get a hang of it it comes becomes better and i don't know but i'm hoping to find a balance soon because it's really been hectic but you've been in the job industry for a long time so i think you would know better Cindy. Uh -huh. what time is it uh, uh, i need to catch up on leadership forum do they have a radio here uh, uh, never mind i brought my own no way. You can't be serious. Wait, why do you have a radio and you can just catch up with the shows on Hope FM podcast? Really? Even which of the world? Yeah. I mean, you can find them on whatever platform. Name it. AfriPods, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify. You name it. But I'm not subscribed on any of them. So no worries. You can just check out their latest episodes on hopemediakenya.org. You can now listen to select Hope FM programs on your favorite podcast streaming platform or directly on our website, www.hopemediakenya.org. Listen and live. Welcome back and thank you for keeping it here. We move on with our news watch tonight. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa has asked, uh, has asked some of the leaders or the school drivers to be extra vigilant and cautious on the road to avert fatal accidents that are claiming lives of the young Kenyans. Speaking on Sunday when he condoled with the students and teachers of the Caps Bay High School in Nandi County following the fatal or the death of two colleagues in a tragic road accident that occurred along Cabernet Marigat Road on Saturday, DP said that it was sad to lose precious lives at a young age. 
DP said who DP Gashagwa, who also delivered President Ruto condolences, said the government will support the national school to recover from the tragedy. And also to replace the written off bus, Gashagwa said he will talk with his boss, President William Ruto, and the alumni of the institution to give the school another one. The bus that had 61 students, one teacher and a driver on board, rolled at Patquanini area in Cabernet Margat Highway in Baringo County as they were headed for a geographical trip to Lake Bogoria. Again, we take this opportunity to appeal to our drivers and other road users to exercise care and vigilance on our roads, and more so those who drive our buses for schools. These are precious jewels for our country. Our young people are the future of this country. So when we drive them around, we must remain alert that we carry the future of this great republic. So we continue to urge for a lot of care among our motorists on our roads to drive at the right speed, to drive in the right way, so that we take care of the lives that we carry and we make sure that we don't lose more Kenyans uh, through road carnage. The boys of Kapsabet Boys and the School Fraternity, good morning. God is good. And all the time. I've come here this morning on behalf of President William Ruto, an alumni of this great prestigious institution of his own kind, to bring his condolences and that of the government of the Republic of Kenya. And I too and my family, I want to come and say pole to the school fraternity for the loss of your teacher and one student. And again, for those who have suffered injuries, I am very encouraged that those at uh, the Doret Hospital are making good progress. And uh, we have been assured that uh, they are out of danger. And we are sure that they will be back to school. The ones who are in Baringo have also been attended. And we are very optimistic that later in the day they should be able to join you. So we have come here as a government on behalf of the president to say pole. That is a very big blow to this institution. Losing a life of a teacher, a student, is a very heavy thing, especially for a family like this one, because you are one great family. We are praying for you, for God to give you strength, to give you fortitude, to come to terms with the sad reality of losing a teacher who has been dear to you, of losing a student who is one of you, and uh, we trust that uh, our prayers uh, will be heard by God to give you that strength. And uh, even as we prepare to bury the teacher and the student, we shall give the support that is required. We continue to hold you in prayer so that you can be able to go through that very difficult stage. I've been told about the bus that has been written off, and uh, I want to give a commitment on behalf of President William Ruto, I'll talk to him later in the day, and I'm sure there is no doubt that the President will give you another bus to replace that one, so that you are able to <laughs> you are able to continue with your tours across the country. Moving on, barely two months after the national government through the Ministry of Interior deployed 205 national police reservists to enforce the security along West Pokot and its neighboring counties border, the move seems to be bearing fruit as normal business that had been brought to a standstill in parts of Chesogon, Cheptulel and Mason resumes. Masol, member of County Assembly Wilson Chekeruk, is feeling convinced by the plan with the national government, although challenging CS Kindiki to move with speed and fulfill his promise to open seven schools along the West Pokot and still El Geo Maraquet border that are currently closed due to insecurity. Speaking at Marshall Secondary School during the Thanksgiving ceremony, West Pokot Governor Simon Akachapin uh, said that the government, said the county government will work with the national government to deploy more reservists in the area, saying the current reservists have done a good job since their deployment cases to insecurity have gradually reduced. Kumekuwa na msoso muda mrefu tumekuwa na shida ya kuwa na amani lakini
tangu wakati ambapo e, viongozi waliongelea mambo ya amani pale Chesegon wakaenda Kainuk na pia tukatumiwa sasa mambo ya KPR tumekuwa na amani na kumekuwa na utulifu kidogo siliwa juzi pale just itasaidia mambo ya amani ya hii through the DCC tumeomba sana tuongezewe NPR wengine kwa sababu serikali peke yake kupitia security team ambayo iko haitaweza katika sehemu hii ya mpakani na tunajua tukiongezewa NPR tutaweza kuishi vizuri na majirani yetu ili tuendelee kujenga mashule nyingi na watoto wetu wasome sehemu ambayo ambayo iko na shida ya usalama ni mbaka, ni mambo ni mpaka kwa hivyo tungeahimiza serikali wasidi ku, ku, kuimarisha uh, uh, maneno ya usalama na pia tuone ya kwamba tu kusaidia wananchi hata wengine hawana hata maboma kwa sababu wanaishi kwa miti so na nashukuru na, na, na kwa sababu kuna mpango ya kuweza kuwapatia mabati ili waweze kupanda maboma Hoping that everything will be back to normal in West Pokot and El Geyo Marakwet. Now we head to Kirinyaga County where more than 3,000 residents in Kirinyaga County benefited from a free medical camp hosted by Mpesa Foundation in partnership with Zuri Health and Lion Sight Eye Hospital at the North Crowns in Moya. The foundation also distributed 50 mama packs at Kimbimbi Sub County Hospital containing essential for mothers and babies at the hospital uh, as part of its effort to enhance maternal and child health the foundation program manager nicolas nganga waichuli said they have impacted the lives and thousands of lives in the area among the medical services provided at the camp were general consultation cervical and breast cancer screening fistula screening general doctor in consultations diabetes screening hypertension monitoring and child health consultations Today we are really honored uh, as Kirinyaga County government and the people of Kirinyaga for this uh, very generous initiative uh, courtesy of Mpesa Foundation that they've seen it fit to bring a medical screening camp to Kirinyaga County that it intends to reach as many as 3000 inhabitants of Moya region. We hope that by the end of today we'll have screened uh, many people uh, in the Moya region of common conditions uh, such as the non communicable conditions such as diabetes hypertension uh, we also doing screening for uh, cancers such as breast cancer cervical cancer and for the men we also doing prostate cancer screening on behalf of the county government of Kirinyaga led by uh, her excellency madam anwaiguru want to really appreciate uh, mpesa foundation and all the other partners such here to offer the medical services as lions we are offering eye services whereby we have seen a quite number we have seen around 500 so far We have given them education others we have given them uh, gla leading glasses and a few we have booked for the cataract surgery whereby we are taking their details their blood pressure blood sugars and then their contact for the next of kin and then we'll call them and then we offer free surgeries at Nairobi headquarters Lance Site First Eye Hospital Russia And onto international buzz around 50 protesters have been arrested in Russia series on the final day of vote set to confirm Vladimir Putin in office long queues formed outside polling station heading a call to gather in protest with most outspoken critics in exile jail or death the re-election re of the 71 year old Russian president is seen as inevitable the first two days of the vote saw dozens of incidents of vandalism at police polling stations with several people detained across Russia voting has also been taking place in Russian occupied parts of four Ukrainian regions according to the Russian news agency TASS several hours before the polls closed in some parts of Russia the turnout of presidential election hit 67.54% this is just higher than the turnout of 67.5% reported for the last presidential election in the year 2018 We now head to sports news where the Harambee Stars today continued with preparation for the upcoming four nationals tournament set to take place in Malawi as rising stars today entered in seven day of residential training ahead of the four nations tour tournament sorry in Malawi. Uh, 
Uh, first of all, I feel good. I feel poor. The mara ya kwanza, na ni kitu siku ni expect. It may come so soon, any haraka. But I feel good to train now. In training kongu ko poor. Na learn from the coaches. Ni coach manye ako more experience on a learn ko ake itu kada any siku ni me learn. Yeah. Na juwa yoto na me da ita kuara isi. But for this nation, I hope we can win it. It's a big achievement. Yeah. Side side. Quad back, quad back, even a band, quad back, quad back. Elsewhere, the young kings from Dandora and Aguretti Mixed Girls School have been crowned the new champions of the fourth edition of the Safaricom Chapadimba Games following the finals played on Sunday at Dandora Stadium in Nairobi County, roared on by the mammoth crowd who were overwhelmed in the 5,000-seater newly commissioned stadium. In the heart of Dandora, the host young kings came from 1-0 down to humble Aguretti Lions 6-1 and claimed the Nairobi regional crown. Lions started strong and their efforts were rewarded through a quick goal from Dur Kang in the seventh minute. However, a defensive error in the 16th minute led uh, to a penalty for the host, which was converted by Edwin Toto. Leons had a chance to reclaim their lead by Shano Bok, who missed a penalty. The, the miss proved costly as immediately after Joseph Wekesa put Young Kings ahead with a splendid free kick in the 26th minute. Uh, Washington's Muga then capitalized on Lyons' defensive lapses, scoring two more goals uh, to make it 4-1 at the break. Muga added two goals in the second half to seal the 6-1 victory for the Dandora Young Kings. And thank you, and Mr. Doran, Safari from Chapadimba edition 4. Makofi kwa ketifarali, makofi kwa ose. Jana nilisema Tuna respect Dagoreti Lakini kawa ugupi Kasa ni Kipaji tukona ya kusoma game Sisi makoche tuko kwa bench Satu nisoma game yao jana Nukabu game imekuwa raisi kwetu Nafikiri ni message tulikuwa natumia Teams na enda kubit kisumu Yu tunakujia Title for the first time Kisi ke Nairobi Kasa watu karibishe tutu kikuja Na pigiri nimeona mistake tuko nazo Vile tuna approach finals Si vile tumecheza hizo zizu zingine Kasa ni kawa kwa hiyo Trent ya watu kwa vijana Na confident Jota wako Game ya leo haijakuwa mbaya Mekua tu fiti As in kuna ngana tu Kujituma Na hivyo ndo tika win game Katika finals Tunatarajia ushindi Na tutakapo pata ushindi, pia sifa na shukran tutazirubisha kwa mungu, juu yendo mwenye kupanga kila kitu. That is all we had lined up for you. Thank you so much for keeping it here at Hope TV where you look and live. My name is Nelia Swanjiro. I wish you a blessed night.